Hello, my friends. Today, I am going to compare the performance of React 17.0.2 versus React 18.2 inside of the Chrome browser. I am currently using an Apple MacBook Pro, 64 gigs of RAM, um, with an Intel i9 processor. Both of the apps are exactly the same. It's essentially just a sharpening cart. However, in the React 18.2 version, I'm using the new hooks that came out with React 18. Um, and we'll get into that later. Uh, before we continue, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click this button here where it says subscribe. Uh, the subscription costs you absolutely nothing. It's completely free and it will help me grow the channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, React 17 version. Just This is just to confirm and verify that I'm using React 17. Nothing special here. Uh, these apps were both spun up using the Create React app CLI. Um, a little bit of the uh, improvised asynchronicity with React Obviously, I cannot use the use transition nor the use defer value hooks inside of 17 because it doesn't have it. So we're doing the uh, the loading while the component is being loaded, the conditional rendering um, manually, as you can see here. Okay. Now let's take a look at the 18 version. So let me just verify that we are indeed using 18. All right, as you can see there. Okay, so in the 18 version, I'm putting in use defer value and use transition from React, and uh, we we're going to implement the new asynchronicity feature of React by using it to uh, show the loading while the component's waiting to uh, fetch all of his data. Okay, nothing too fancy here. It's pretty simple. Okay. So this is to verify um, which version I'm using. So another thing that might be of interest to you guys and, and girls is that uh, the build size after I run the npm build command. So for 17, these are your bundle sizes. And for 18, these are your bundle sizes. Obviously, every time that, well, not obviously, but certainly if you work with Angular uh, in the past, sometimes, you know, when it comes with a new version, it gets bigger and bigger, although that trend was changing with Angular, but certainly with React, every new version is certainly bigger. And obviously with 18, the bundle size is obviously just a, little, a wee bit bigger, as you can see there. But how does this affect performance? Let's find out here soon. So in the interest of saving time, I went ahead and ran the performance metrics off camera so that you guys have to sit here and watch me do this manually. Um, so for the 17 version, we're going to do network, performance, profiling, and lighthouse. And uh, there you have it for the uh, for network. Okay. Now let me pull in 18. Okay. It's interesting that uh, 18 is a, a little bit, just a little bit faster, but um, the size, the transfer size and the total resource size is a little bit bigger. All right, let's bring back to 17 okay for your comparison yet again now let's look at the performance profiling again event it's off camera 
so that we can save some time. Okay. Again, this is for 17. Now let's jump to 18. Look at the performance profiling. Okay. Hopefully that's of some value to you guys. And then let's go back to 17 and go to Lighthouse. And for Lighthouse, I'm running this as desktop. Desktop, not, not mobile. We'll do mobile in a sec. Again, for 17. Right, let's bring in 18. Okay, all right, so um, I'm going to run mobile Lighthouse on 17. Let me get rid of this. We can switch over to mobile. That's what we get this time around. Again, both of these apps were spun up with. Uh, the CRA, COI. Uh, maybe next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Vite because Vite is, uh, has great performance. Okay, so for 17, that's your mobile lighthouse numbers. Yikes. Okay, let's go to 18 and see if it's any better. Yikes. <laughs> Holy crap. That's not good. Yeah. But then to be fair, is I haven't optimized. Uh I just you know, this just come out of the box as it is, so uh it's not optimized for mobile, but you know, I figure I'll do it anyways. Okay, my friends, thank you for bearing with me. Hopefully this was some use to you guys if you're making the decision where to uh upgrade to 18 or not in the near future. Obviously, you have to do it eventually, but just a matter of time priority, right? Okay, so if you like this video, please consider subscribing and liking. Uh, I will see you next time, my friends. And thank you to all of those who have already subscribed. I appreciate your patronage. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.